Okay. In all menu systems that you have, like a menu is displayed, and through that menu you do a selection, and based on your selection, you, you do something and you come back to menu. Okay? All these systems are written like this, and there is no exception. Okay? First of all, you have a menu. Now, in this case, you are not using any functions in that, in your uh, workshop. In here, I'm going to use functions. I'm going to write the good one. But structure is the same. Okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a program that fills an array with information and displays it. Very simple and straightforward. Okay? So all the menu systems work like this. You have... an integer option that is the option that user selects now option always is decided by displaying the menu okay so you have a menu that gets displayed and the option uh, is taken from the user and based on option you do something so based on that option you switch to the value of that option, and in case whatever the option is, let's say we have five different options, you're going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or whatever. So uh, usually you put, you, that menu could be letters, could be uh, numbers, digits, whatever you want. Um, so based on the value that the option has, different things happen. So say uh, our menu, I'm going to write the menu. So in my case, I'm going to create a character menu instead of, uh, instead of integer menu. Okay? So this, uh, it's going to be like this. I'm going to write printf. So I'm displaying the menu. So I'm going to say A for add entry, go to new line. Then I'm going to say S, show values. Um, show values is S. I'm going to say V, show values. And S will going to be show sum. So let's say I want to enter so many values, integer values, and have the users either add a value, show all the values, or show the sum of all the values. So three different things is happening. And then I'm going to say X for exit. Okay, and then right after that, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to do something like this, Put, show a prompt or something. Okay, and then right after that, I'm going to say, I'm going to, because it's returning a character, when a function returns something, you need to have it to returning. I'm going to say over here, character option. And in here, I'm going to say, Scanf percent C percent C. I'm going to put two, one for the option, one for the enter. Character new line. We are assuming that user is sane and is entering the values. I'm not doing any validation. So in here, I'm going to say um, percent. So it's going to be address of option. The first one is going to be the option, and the second one is going to be new line. Okay? Now in here, I'm going to say if new line is not equal to new line, first 
flush keyboard. We already have that one. I'm going to bring it over here. It means it's garbage. Flush it. Otherwise, flush keyboard. And I'm going to make option some garbage. I'm going to make option, let's say, Z, something that is not there. Otherwise, I'm going to return the option. So this menu of mine, what does it do? It shows the menu, receives an option, and returns the option out. Sorry. I don't need to have an else. I simply say return option. All right? So if, there is, so if user enters anything extra, it flushes the keyboard, sets the option to, go to some garbage, and returns the option. So it either returns AVSX or it returns Z for garbage. Or we can actually put over here G for garbage. <laughs> Whatever, OK? So that's what the menu is doing. Now this int option, I'm going to make it character. Now because it's returning AVSX, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say case A. And they may enter capitalized capital, capital A2. So I'm going to put both A's here. Case A. break. This is where I'm going to add to array. The other one is case V. So lowercase or uppercase. I'm going to say show all. Show all. And the other one is S or S, it's going to be show sum. And I don't need to do anything here. All I need to do over here is, to, is this. In here, I'm going to say default. So in here, so I'm going to say case. Uh, X, it was X, right? X or case X. I'm going to say break. I'm going to say exits. Now, in here, I'm going to say default. I'm going to say printf invalid selection and go to new line. So this is the system that all menus work with everywhere. That's the structure for it. They display a menu. They look at the option. Depending on what the option is, they do what it's supposed to be done. Okay? For exit, they usually don't do anything. I'll tell you why. And then they say invalid selection. So if any of these happen, if any of these are selected, the action is taken over here. If none of these are selected, it means something wrong was entered. It's going to say invalid selection, right? And it has to come back to here and continue it again, right? That's why we put this one in a big loop. Do. And we put a while right at the end. While, sorry, close it. While option is not equal x. And option is not equal, which means if it's either this one or that one, it's going to go out, right? So let's say everything's lower because I don't want to make it complicated now, OK? So let's, if it's uh, x, so in here, if it's either of these two, I'm going to make option set to x. 
I'm going to make it lowercase. So, so what happens over here is this. I have a loop. I show a menu based on the selection. Why it's giving me stupid compiler. Okay. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with, okay, anyway. So, so it gets the menu, shows the option. Based on the option, the action is taken. If it's not exit, it comes back again, shows the menu again. All menu systems are like this. Now we were doing array entry, right? Let's say I want to have double values and I want to show every and each value and then I want to add one to it one by one. So in your case, you have over here a, a size, right? I'm going to have define size. So it's almost the same. I'm going to put over here three, let's say. I don't want to do too much. So I'm going to create a double array values and I'm going to make it to the size. And I'm going to have over here an integer. Um, I'm going to call it um, number of values. And I'm going to set it to zero. So this number of values takes, keeps track of how many entries were done. If there is an add to an array, after I add whatever that is needed to array, I add one to the number of values. But I have to always make sure that if this number of values is less than size, I add to the array. Otherwise, I have to say array is full. Okay? So that's what it is. Very simple. And in here, you are going to, oh, sorry, and the number of that was going to be over here. There you go, because I added. So if number of values is less than size, add to array. How do I add to array? I simply say values, values, number of values will be set to get double. Remember wishful thinking? I'm assuming that I have a function called get double. OK? So now it's getting the double as the number of values. If it's bad, it's going to say array is full. In here, what do I do? I want to show all. I'm going to say integer i. Oh, not here. I'm going to put an integer i over here. And in here, I'm going to say for i set to 0, i less than number of values. And I plus plus, printf, percent, I don't know, 0.2 LF. And I'm going to show uh, values I. So if they enter three, they can show three of them. If enter, enter four, they can show four. So and in here, I'm going to show the row of the display. So I'm going to put i plus 1. As you see, everything's getting repeated. You have done all these things. You put them together, and a new thing is created. So if you want to show all the values, it comes over here, starts from 0 up to the number of entries that you have done. So if you had done 3, it's going to show 3 of them. If you had done up to size, it's going to show up to size. If you only enter 1, it's going to show 1. If you did not enter anything, it's going to be 0 less than 0. It's not going to show anything. So it shows all. And then in here, you want to show the sum. It's almost the same. But the difference is that you have to just find the sum. So I'm going to have over here double sum. And every time I'm going to say sum is set to 0. And instead of printing it, I'm just going to say sum plus equal values. It's just something to do to display it, to show you what it does. Printf sum of, sum of values are is percent point to LF, and it shows the sum. And that's it. So this is essentially a program that gets values one by one, add them up, and then uh, if you want, it adds them up. If you want, it uh, 
uh, adds to the values. If you want, if you want, it displays them. Um, I'm going to complete the double value thingy and, and show it to you. Go back to work. I'm going to add the w, uh, the, uh, the get double thingy, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll show you how it works. Okay, now the system is going to work like this. I'm just going to run it and then walk through it quickly. So this is what it is. So it's blank. There is nothing in here. I'm just going to I'm just going to say show values v values entered is nothing so it's not showing anything show sum sum of values is zero add entry it's going to say values zero because i added only one so i'm going to add that one so values uh values zero i'm going to add i think i put that one wrong let me fix it i just remembered it's not i it's number number of values c one more time, yeah. So, so I'm gonna say uh, add uh, value zero. I'm gonna put 34.56. Hit enter. If I say now show values, um, enter values as see, as you see, it's only one. I made a mistake. I put I should have put a new line. I didn't. Let's fix that. After showing each, I have to put a new line. Okay. One more time. So yeah, add value, three, four, five, six, add entry. Now it says values one. And now if I say show values, it shows them all, one and two, and then goes back to menu. The menu is not written properly. It's supposed to put the spacing and stuff nicely. If I, sh if I say sum, then it's going to show the sum is that value. OK? So how it works, quick walkthrough would be this. So every time it runs, it displays the menu, as you see, and waits for you to enter an option. Now I'm going to say add entry. I'm going to put A over here, hit enter. Because option is A, it's going to come to case A. Therefore, this is going to run. It jumps to case A, says data entry. And the number of values is zero, less than the size, so it's fine. Then it shows value percent D, so it exactly shows which one that is entering. That is value zero, and gets a double. I wrote the get double and added to utility. You'll see, you'll see it later. Gets the double. And now I'm going to put over here 34.56. Hit enter. It gets the double and puts it in values. Now if I look at the values, you'll see the first one is 34. The rest is garbage comes out, break, jumps to the end of the loop. Option is not X because it's not X, goes back up, displays the menu again. Now if I say show values, that is V, hit enter. Because the option that is enter is V, it jumps to V case. Jumps over there, shows entered values, then it goes through one by one. Because it's only one, it displays one. And then goes back up, back up, exits, and goes out, back to the option, displays the menu. And that's the story. If I press X over here, it comes down, goes to option X, option becomes X, then comes to Y loop because it is equal, the condition goes false and goes out and goodbye. And that's essentially every single menu system that you see in the world happens like that. That's the structure for it. You show a menu, you take action upon selection, you did redisplay menu. Always at any time. Are we okay with this? All right.